Hello, Catherine here with iCraft Vinyl. Today I'll be showing you how to use iCraft's hologram vinyl. So I'll be using a Cricut Maker and an Easy Press while making my design. And as you can see, I picked my design. I made sure my design is sized correctly. Once I've done that, I place it on the next page. After doing that, I'll make sure it's placed where my vinyl will be on the mat in which it is printing on. After I've made sure I've placed it correctly there, I will then hit mirror since the vinyl that it will be printing on will be shiny side down. And for the iCraft, it's pretty easy to tell with the hologram because it will be a silver backing that it will be printing on. After that, I'm going to select light cardstock for the material in which it will be cutting. It is a thicker material that it has to cut through, but it cuts through it really well. Now, a little bit about iCraft vinyl. Hologram vinyl is it is ultra reflective and gives a creative three-dimensional prism like effect. It peels super easy as you can see here. You can even peel it with your hands. Now once I finish peeling my design I'm then going to make sure I have placed it correctly on my shirt. I go, usually go about two and a half down from the collar and after that I press it. It's going to be 310 for 10 seconds according to iGraph. Since I'm using a 9x9 Easy Press, I will not be able to press the whole thing right away since it is a larger image. I will then have to repress the image, same temperature, making sure I get all sides of the image pressed down so that I can peel it. Now, this is a cold peel item, so do not remove it while it is still hot or it won't last as long. Now that I've finished pressing my item, I'm going to wait until it cools, like I said. And once it is cool, I will then peel its backing off. But you are not done there. You're going to press it one more time. You will not just press it like this because it will remove your vinyl. You always have to protect your vinyl that you have pressed. Whether it's layering or not, you will then cover it with either a Teflon sheet or parchment paper, which I am using, non-waxed. Now you could always make another layer with this. You just can't have it on top of the hologram because it will not stay. So you could put another layer next to it or fill in something near it, just not on top. Now thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to buying hologram vinyl.